Praise the Lord, everybody, and good morning. Um, I hope you are all doing well and uh, everybody is in good health. Um, welcome to Wednesday morning uh, devotion. I want to share with you a thought this morning that I've had for the last couple days, and hopefully it can help you today. <clears throat> in Ecclesiastes chapter number 9, in verse number 10, it says, Whatsoever thy hand findeth to do, do it with thy might, for there is no work nor device, nor knowledge, nor wisdom in the grave, whither thou goest. Here the writer's telling us that um, when we find something to do, to do it with all of our might. And I'm a firm believer in working hard. And that, that's one thing that I pride myself in, is I, I want to be known as a hard worker. I don't want to be known as a lazy person. There's a lot of people out there that don't want to work. And I don't want to be that way. I want to, I want to find something to do and and I have a competitive side to me. And so in whatever job I've worked, I've always wanted to do a good job and, and, uh, and do it to the best of my ability. And the Lord has blessed me. I, I pray that way. I say, Lord, um, bless my hands. Um, help me to be good at what I do. I want to I wanna have a skill. And uh, the Lord has blessed me with that. And, and, and I'm thankful for that. But the, the thing I really want to key on here, it says, whatsoever thy hand findeth to do. And I, I really believe that it's important to stay busy. I believe it's important to um, find something to do. The One of the great sins of uh, Sodom, it says in Ezekiel chapter number 16 and verse number 49, you can look this up. It says that they were full of pride, fullness in bread, fullness of bread, and abundance of idleness. And um, we all know that Sodom and Gomorrah were destroyed because of the great sins that were happening there, that God got tired of it and destroyed them. And one of the key things that got them to that point was idleness. And, I, and I've been thinking about this a lot lately, how um, we all, I mean, there's a lot of um, downtime right now. And people have a lot of downtime. And you've got to find ways to keep yourself busy. And I preached about this the other night about guarding your mind. It's more important now to guard your mind than it ever has been. Because you you don't want to, to uh, allow yourself to be idle. So <clears throat> whatever you do with your day, if you're laid off, I know it's not your fault to be laid off. But there are a lot of people in La Grande that are laid off right now. And, and if you are laid off, I don't know who's working and who's not. But if you're laid off, find something to do with your time. You know, even if it's um, working on that honeydew list that you have always, that you've been putting off for the last few months. Um, just find something to do with your time because it's so important now that you find something to do. You don't want to just spend all day vegging out on your phone. You know, you don't want to spend all day just looking, scrolling through social media. I know for me that if I look through social media long enough, I'm going to get depressed just looking at everything or just reading news. You know, you, you, you'll, you'll read it and this, those things will get in your spirit and, and, uh, pretty soon you're, you're having a bad day. Get up and pray, you know, find something to do. It's, I, I know men have already talked about it, but you, you got to have a, 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 a prayer life and you want to, you want to find time to pray every day, whether, you know, it's just a few minutes, whenever you can fit it in, but find something to do. Don't let yourself just be idle. There's a great problem with just being idle. You, you know, you could get messed up real quick. Um, it's in us to just want to relax and be lazy, but I, I'm here to tell you today as a, as a daily devotional, it's like, you know, get up and find something to do today. You know, even if it's, something small you're going to feel a sense of accomplishment not only on just the physical side of things but man i uh i was out the other day and i i cut a bunch of brush down that i've been needing to work on and got it loaded up and took it took it to the to the dump and you know it just it's nice to get things done and you'll feel more you'll feel better about yourself if you'll just get up and do something you'll you'll feel more accomplishment um i remember growing up hearing stories about how Bishop's dad would tell him, we're going to do something today, even if it's wrong. Well, don't, don't do something wrong, but get up and do something. Find something to do. Uh, find something to do with your hands, you know. Do something to keep your mind busy. I think it's more important, you know, take all the spirituality out of it. It's just good to get up and do something. You don't want to just sit there all day. 
You don't want to just give your mind over to um, social media and those things. You got to guard that. It's real important in this day and age that that you do that. Um, and the other thing too, it says there's another scripture in uh, Colossians. It says when you find something to do, I think it's uh, chapter three, verse number seventeen. If you find when you find something to do, whether in word or deed, do it all to the name of the Lord. Meaning that. Do it like you're doing it for Jesus Christ himself. Like if, if it's bacon bread or something, you're going to do it. You're going to try to fine tune it to where it is the best. And that's what you want to do. You want to do it just like you're doing it for Jesus. And so when I go to work, you know, I, there's lots of days I go to work and I don't want to smile at anybody. But the, but I, I do because I want to portray um, Jesus to them because we're in a hopeless world. We're in a very dark world. And in the time that we're living in, People need to see the Lighthouse Church people excited about living for God and and wanting to do and and uh, and they're they're looking to us for hope and uh, you might not believe that but people are watching you. I mean, we're getting almost three thousand views uh, per service, or some some even more than that. And so there's a lot of people viewing our services online. And so you want to be a light at this time. You know, you're a representative of the Lighthouse Church. And so you want to go to work. You want to be happy. You want to, um, and, and, and the reason, it's not a fake happiness. It's a godly happiness because we understand the times we're living in. And we're trying to reach them, man. We're, we're going to reach them now however we can. And so when you go to work, be happy about it, you know. When, whatever you're finding to do, do it with all your might, you know, and do it like you're doing it to the Lord. That's what the Bible says to do. Do it like you're doing it to the Lord. And uh, you're going to find you're going to find joy in working hard like that. And um, and people are going to connect with that. People are going to start saying, hey, there's something different about that person down there. And um, and then you'll you'll be excited about living for God, too. And that, that's what this is all about is is you want to stay busy. But let me tell you something. There is a lot of work to be done in this day and hour. And and I I was preaching the other night and I was talking about how it, it'll be so nice to go see the Lord and, and to be with Jesus. And, and I truly believe we are in the end times and that will happen at some point. And, and, and I want that. But on the other hand, too, the other side of me, if I could say it this way, the other side of me is going, God, I hope that we still have a little bit more time to reach people. There's a lot of people in our city. There's a lot of people in our nation, in our world that need Jesus. And, and I, I don't want to see them go to hell. I really don't. I, I want to, I want to be the light that, that should be there. I don't want to be shining bright. And how you do that is if you if your mind is cluttered up if with idleness and and, and and sitting there on the couch and not doing anything with your time, not not doing any good thing with your time. I mean, I know there, there's things to do on your phone. I mean, if you're having Bible studies on your phone, that's that's awesome. And keep it up. But the thing is, is like for those of us that are struggling, that um, finding something to do, you've got to force yourself to get up. There's a lost and dying world out there. Here's what it says. I found the scripture and, uh, and it, it makes so much sense. And if you could apply this somehow in your life today, this is a great thing to work towards. And and if you're having trouble finding something to do, um, listen to this scripture. Here's what it says in 2 Corinthians chapter number 9 and verse number 6. It says, But this I say, He which soweth sparingly shall reap also sparingly, and he which soweth bountifully shall reap also bountifully. Meaning this, that if you if you just you know every one if you do it once a month you just sow some seed once a month and and I know Pastor was talking about this um, yesterday about sowing seed and that and that ground that we are but you've got to get out there and sow some seed in this day and hour it is so important if you're gonna if you want to find something to do here's a great thing to focus on and that is sowing some seed call up a family member call up a relative of some. And, and, and talk to them about God. Um, however you have to do it, it is more important now to to reach the lost than it ever has been. If we truly believe that we're living in the last days, man, we ought to be trying to pull people into the church. 
and, and, and talking to people and encouraging them. And, and that's what I want to be found doing. When the Lord comes back, I want to be found working for him. Uh, the, the scripture says there will be two in the field, one taken, one left, you know, and, and they were working and, and, uh, you probably don't want to be working with me, uh, in the field on that day. But the thing is, is I want to be found busy about the things of God. I don't want to be, I don't want to miss something and I don't want to miss an opportunity to witness to somebody because I'm, I'm just being idle at home. I know, I know we are stuck in our homes, but you can invent, find ways to reach people, find ways to reach people in this city, uh, your own relatives, man. You can be around your own relatives. Talk to your own relatives about it. Talk to uh, uh, family members that you haven't connected with in a while. We have to got to figure it out how to reach them. But if you sow bountifully, he which soweth bountifully shall also reap bountifully. Meaning that, that farmer's putting out a lot of seed, but he's going to reap a lot back because he's putting a lot out there. You really got to put yourself out there and try to win somebody to God. Try to witness to somebody. Just get up and find something to do. And it, it could be whatever you decide to do, but I'm just telling you, here's a good thing to focus on, and that is sowing the Word of God. And uh, have fun doing it. The Bible says, giving in that uh, scripture in, in Colossians 3.17, it says, and give thanks to, to God, you know. And so just be thankful, man. Everybody loves a real thankful person. Um, and uh, it's a good thing to spread is thankfulness. There's uh, We're living in a world that's just, there are not a lot, not a lot of thankfulness going on out there. If you can find somebody walking down the street and you can help them, help them. You're, you're going to be blessed. Love you. Lord bless.